Well, hello there. Welcome once more to Crunchyman's Kitchen. And if this is your first time stopping by, I'd like to say a very warm aqua to you. Today, I'll be very honored if you join me in the kitchen so we prepare this delicious shrimp linguine together. I know you'll enjoy this. So this is a very quick meal, typically you should be done in 30 minutes and to start off I'm going to go ahead and boil my water. So I have my saucepan full of water, like halfway full and I've covered it, bringing it to a boil and while that boils I'm going to go ahead and clean my shrimp. So I got uh, these large, these are like extra large, not really jumbo, I couldn't find jumbo, jumbo would have been preferred, you know the huge ones. But this is a good size anyways, and it's two pounds. Uh, it is um, deveined. So this is what they call the easy peel. So it's deveined, but it still has the shell on, and it's easy for you to peel. And um, it's a, a better buy. Normally, I like to buy my shrimp uh, with a little bit of work to do. The more work they do for you, the more expensive it is. So this is really a lot cheaper or a little bit more cheaper than getting the one that is already cleaned and so I've cleaned all of my shrimp I'm gonna go ahead and wash it just add the running water and once I'm done washing this I'm gonna go ahead and set my pan on fire this is like my saute pan and let it warm up. I'm adding in here some avocado oil. And then I'm going to go ahead and season my shrimp with just salt and pepper. And then I will cook it in the oil. So this is pretty much about a teaspoon of salt and it's always going to always be according to your taste. And I'm just grinding on some black peppercorns. And then I'll go ahead and mix this up. And by, th uh, by then the oil should be hot enough for me to just go ahead and cook the shrimp in it. This is a very quick but delicious very simple but so delicious meal you make it and when you serve it you know you feel like you spend a lot of money to get it but of course if you bought this in a restaurant you know seafood is expensive if you went to a restaurant and you ordered this meal it was gonna it was really really gonna cost a lot but this together everything probably it's it's a little under twenty dollars and this made about six servings of uh, pasta for us and so that really really is a steal and I hope you're able to try this as, at home so anyway I have all my shrimp I was able to try to pack everything in there which wasn't easy that was a lot of shrimp two pounds of shrimp is uh, it's a lot for this pan and so I'm just gonna let it go ahead and cook and at this time my water has already come to a boil so I'm gonna salt it and add some oil and we'll cook our linguine we are going to be using linguine you could use spaghetti or any kind of pasta that you want to make it with but I like um, shrimp linguine and so this is what I'm gonna be making today so just one pack of pasta or linguine is all we're gonna be using and I have to say I miss those days when I used to work day shift I'll come home from work you know quickly just whip this up in no time we'll be able to sit down and have this you know at a good enough time for dinner without having to you know constantly meal prep but <laughs> life you know you make the most of life you make the most with your time whatever it's you know life brings to you you just try to adapt but i really miss those days when i could just come home from work take a shower and just whip up something this quick and still manage to have enough time to take a photo for instagram <laughs> but it's all good it's really all good so anyway our shrimp is cooked for about four minutes on this on one side and i'm just gonna go ahead and use a fork to flip them over it's so crowded using anything else wouldn't be ideal so the fork really makes it more efficient 
and I'm gonna make sure I turn everything so it gets a chance to cook on the other side. And let me give you a closer look. Look right here. See how beautiful golden they are, especially those um, to my right hand side. Just beautifully cooked, beautiful. It smells amazing. This is gonna be good, I know it. And you will love it. <laughs> Simple, delicious, just amazing. This is like one heck of a gourmet meal that you can make, your family's going to enjoy. You could have it at a party, you know, when you have people over. It's so simple to whip up, but it looks so delicious. <laughs> Maybe luxurious, and people say, can we ex can describe food as luxurious? It is your food, you can describe it whichever way you want. You made it, and let them know how you feel about it. As simple as that. So luxurious. <laughs> delicious beautiful gorgeous whatever you choose to call it you made it hey and so I cleaned up some um, garlic and this is about five cloves I have chopped them and as you know we don't I like my garlic too I want to bite into it so you can mince it or whatever way you want you are the one eating it but if you're serving it to others of course you'll be mindful of who's gonna eat it and how they like your garlic not everybody wants to bite into big pieces of garlic like that then you would probably adjust it. But this for us, as a family, works. works. Uh, we like it this way. So my shrimp is cooked. It has cooked for about um, seven minutes in total. And I like my shrimp to be well cooked. And this at this point is perfect. And I'm gonna bring them out of the oil in no time. And then we can proceed with everything else. So you see I'm going back and forth, you know, doing things. That's my way of trying to maximize time. This was actually on the day that I was about to go to work. So, uh, of course, I had no time to just, you know, just stand and just prep everything. This worked for me this way that I start cooking one thing and I'm also, you know, chopping stuff on the side. If you feel uh, a lot more comfortable, I would say get everything ready before you start. So that way you don't end up burning anything. So I'm taking out my shrimp from the pan. Beautifully cooked. Perfect at this point. And then I'll add in here my chopped garlic. And I'm going to cook this until it's just a little bit golden. Smelling amazing. So it just, you know, enhances the uh, fragrance and everything of this oil. Just makes it delicious. Smell good. And then I'll add in back my shrimp and quickly add the rest of the ingredients so stay with me so i bring back in here my shrimp and of course i'm not going to waste the delicious juices in here i am trying to scrape everything in here where they belong to bring all the flavor into my dish and i am doing something that i haven't done before something different uh, if you've watched or if you ever use my recipe on Instagram, you know I never use sun-dried tomatoes. But in this craze, you know, in me trying to get everything in the store, I got some sun-dried tomatoes as well. I was like, you never know, you could use it for something. If everything else, you know, just blend it, it gives you a richer taste in your um, tomato-based juice because it's very, you know, dried and, and concentrated. So I got... Uh, a few jars about three jars of the sun-dried tomatoes and I'm like let me just throw some in here and it really turned out beautiful so I put about two tablespoons of the, t the tomatoes in here with my shrimp and this comes already in some infused oil you know so with herbs and everything on it so of course it's also going to enhance the flavor of my uh, pasta dish but if you don't have it I have done this so many times without sun-dried tomatoes and it's still delicious so what I also use is um, which I always do is spinach and that is what I'm chopping now I'm just not really chopping it sometimes I just actually throw it in there because you know when spinach heat is introduced to it it will it, it just shrinks so those baby spinach leaves if I just didn't even cut them they're still, still gonna wilt and look like I chopped them anyway so Whichever way you choose to have it, so far as this baby spinach, you could just cut it up, you know, like a leaf, cut up a leaf into about three. That is generally what I did, and this is good. So I'm just going to put them in a bowl right now, and then I'm also going to cut up some parsley. I, am, I have some parsley um, 
in the sink already that I have washed and I'm going to go ahead and chop that, that as well. And this is a pasta dish, dish and parsley always helps to enhance your flavor. So if you can do some parsley, all the better. You can even skip the, um, the spinach, but definitely add some parsley in there if you can. And so that's like a small bunch of parsley and I'm just gonna chop it up add it to my spinach and then once the pasta is introduced into the onto the shrimp and sun-dried tomatoes this goes in last just when everything is about done and our meal is ready very simple very simple this is a very simple meal like I said all you need is 30 minutes and some yumminess is served on the table So at this point, uh, I think our pasta is also done. So all this comes together perfectly. The timing is just right. Just look at our pasta. It has cooked for about 10 minutes. Beautiful. And it's time for me to just bring it off the fire. So I'm gonna pour it, just strain it. Give it a little shake to get all the water out of it. And at this point, you know, lunch is almost ready. So the whole time I was chopping my spinach and parsley, I had this, my shrimp and tomatoes cooking on very, very low heat. So I don't end up burning it. And that is why I say, if you prefer, uh, I would advise that you have everything ready before you start. And so now I just put in here my um, spaghetti or my linguine actually I should say my pasta and I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it up just look at that just look at how beautiful it is already and for some people this is already a meal wouldn't add any extra vegetables and that is up to you it's a uh, pasta dish you can make it anyway but I like to introduce um, more vegetables into my dishes and here I'm adding just a little bit of um, crushed pe uh, red peppers, which is totally optional. You could do that if you want some spice, but I like to have some heat in here. So I've added just a little bit, about a, a half a teaspoon or maybe even a, a, a quarter of a teaspoon. Not too much because my kids will eat some too. And chili flakes it can be very, very spicy anyway. Remember, it's dry. So I'm going to go ahead here now and add in my parsley and spinach that I chopped previously. And at this time our meal is like really cooked because I'm just going to toss it in here. And you're going to see this is this part is real time. I'm doing this in real time with you and you're going to see how quickly the spinach wilts. Like as soon as the heat hits it, it's going to wilt and... It's cooked then, it's really cooked. Remember you can eat, eat your spinach or your parsley, they are all, can they can be eaten raw anyway. So I'm just stirring, letting the heat hit it. And once they wilt, that's it. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn off the flame and our meal will be ready. See, it's wilting now, it's reducing. It looks like almost, did you see all that spinach that I put in there and how reduced they have already become? Yeah. So, and that pretty much is it. This is one simple, so easy to whip up meal. It takes almost no time, so effortless. But when you finish the end result, you would think you went into some expensive restaurant for this. And this, it's like, you know, you saving a lot of money making it at home. So I gave it a taste. It's perfectly salted. I don't need to add anything in here at this time and so this is cooked. I just turned off the flame and now I am ready to serve this so I can eat some, take a quick nap <laughs> and head out to work. So I hope you enjoy doing this with me. I had fun doing this with you. It is an honor to share with you and I really hope you try this and hopefully you will let me know how it went. It is always a joy hearing from you. So just look at this. Quick meal, so easy to whip up, delicious. The price point is just right. 
This is what I call fine dining in the comfort of your home at a price you simply cannot beat. I really hope you try this. Thanks for watching and until I come your way next time with something delicious, be loving, be kind, be happy.